cannabis stock soaring. Wow. So much higher than S&P. So many names. Uncle Robert, not familiar. How to play? How to play? Hello, niece and nephew. This is Uncle Robert. Uncle Roger's greatest fan. Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. What's she doing? What's she doing? Drain the... R oh my god! You're killing me, woman! Hiya! Uncle Robert will cover. Why cannabis is sorry? How to play cannabis? How Uncle Robert maximize profit? What is the risk? Is that companies like, like Canopy Growth are becoming uh, closer to profitability and certainly very well run and have an eye on the U.S. and have a growing market share. Legalized marijuana movement set to get its biggest push yet. The Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer vowing to have the Senate take up a pass of the bill to end the federal ban on cannabis. So far, weed's fully legal in 15 U.S. states and the district, both for medicinal and recreational use. And it's already big business. According to a financial firm, the cannabis industry is projected to hit $24 billion in legal sales this year. Industry leaders say it would also lead to an explosion of job creation, real estate development, and support. Cannabis created around 70,000 jobs in 2020, more than double the amount in 2019. Legalization would also bring in more tax revenue. In California, for example, the biggest legal cannabis market in the entire world, it's estimated cannabis will generate a billion dollars in taxes. In 2019, 635 million was generated from cannabis. And of course, people often buy cannabis-related products that are also taxed. That's pivotal. Think about this. Imagine a business, no access to a bank in the state that they're uh, operating in. So if it's legal in that state, they'll have access to banks. It's huge for the industry. With Reddit and, and you know, with short squeezes and some of it's just all about flows. And, and so for the investor in the US right now, you're getting in ahead of large institutions. Uncle Robert tried to use ETF, let the genius mind manage my cannabis for me. Some ETF outperform, some ETF has low volume, and low market cap, maybe more risky. Look at the chart, amazing. This is what is made up of CNPS. This is by famous CNBC Tim Seymour. The chart also amazing. This is holdings. THCX. The chart is also amazing. Look at his holdings. YOLO. Chart also amazing. This is holdings. MJ, this is a big fun. Chart also amazing. And this size holdings. M sauce. This is also a big fun. Look at the chart, also amazing. And look at holdings. Cannabis stock up a lot. How to earn even more? Use Uncle Robert's naked option. Surprise, some pretty big moves in cannabis options today. Uh, so I, I think it's quite incredible what we're seeing here. Tilray, Aurora, Afria, Canopy, Organigram, and Kronos. Every one of these six companies traded over 100,000 contracts today. And to put things in perspective, the average S&P 500 is about 23,500 contracts per day. All of these names would have been in the top 25 most active. But I think what highlights that this whole thing is really more of a trading opportunity and is not an investment conversation is when we take a look at what the options market is implying. Implied volatility for S&P 500 stocks on average is about 35%. So what that translates to is the options market implying a move of about 8% higher or lower over the course of one month. What is it for these stocks? 200%. So what does that mean? The options market is implying an average move for these stocks, higher or lower, of more than 45%. Bit as spread, too wide. Why use option? You can see when stock up 13%, option up 100 to 200 to 300%. percent If we yield! MSOS, much better. Look at the bit as spread, much closer. Also, more open interest. MJ has small bit as spread. This is good for option. Open interest, not bad. Uncle Robert usually pick out of the money with many, many open interests. Team Seymour ETF, no option. You can still play, but gain limited. 
Disclaimer, this is not investment advice, this for entertainment purpose only. Uncle Robert actually sold all my cannabis two weeks ago. Ah, yeah. All because of this, there are risks. Now we are in momentum, but this cannot last forever. We might be outpacing ourselves. What are people doing here? Are they investing for the long run? This suggests absolutely not. What they're doing is they're speculating on the volatility and they're trying to play off of that momentum. And to Bonowin's point, that can be a risky exercise. It's not an investment game, it's a trading game and there will be winners and losers. Please share this video with more people. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, bye-bye!